See this? That's my custom rear seat delete that we made. Woo! Disclaimer, if you're a perfectionist, purist, or just don't like people doing things for themselves, don't watch, because it's basically what this entire video is. So you see that little box in the corner of the screen? Well, that's a sub that I bought for £5, and if I hadn't bought that, I would not be doing this, all right? Goodness me. Anyway, so essentially we took the rear seats out. To be fair to this car, they're down anyway all the time because I use this car basically as a van for all of that stuff for work. Now in this video, we're going to make this process look really easy, but I promise you, it was not. The templating, the cutting, the drawing. Unbelievable, the cutting. Fun, great process, fun, I would rate it, but it was long. Now, I know it looks weird, I've already spilt something on it, don't worry, we went with two halves. Because I wanted to hinge in the middle so I can still get underneath this, okay? So after measuring a million times, we finally did the final cuts, shortened it down, made it meet in the middle nice, okay? There is also a custom base under this, but I realised I didn't film it, because whilst the lads were doing this, I went to my fabric of wadding, because I can do that, I can cover it. And look, here it is, as if by magic. I covered it, that was my job. Look at this, my industrial stapler, that. That, that I felt so manly doing this, like, that, that was fun. That stapler could kill someone, but I, I didn't, I used it to cover. I'll be honest, I genuinely think this is the greatest thing I've ever achieved in my entire life. Even the edging, like, who knew I'd be so good at edging? Not me, I didn't. Anyway, enough of the crudeness. This was a first test fit, and when I tell you, I on I nearly cried. <laughs> I nearly cried that we actually achieved something so perfect. The fit was honestly phenomenal. And yes, the belts are going. Don't panic. Think of this as a prototype. There's so much that needs doing, tweaking, whatever. And also, if you come around the front, I made this custom little foam bar to cover all the anchor points and the framing underneath to hide it, all the yank. Let me know what you think.